Hello friends, welcome back. Today in this video, I will be sharing how I created this embossed Ganesha for room decor using homemade paper clay or paper mache. So this is a waste fruit tray. You must have seen it inside fruit box to protect it from certain movement or jerk and you can easily find it in any local fruit or vegetable market. It is made up of material similar to egg tray so if you don't get this then you can even replace it with waste egg tray. So here is our waste material which I have cut into small pieces. I have soaked in water for around 8 to 10 hours, grinded it and now it looks like this. Now we will be taking a piece of cloth and we will strain excess water from the mixture by squeezing it as much as possible. Now look, after straining excess water, it will somewhat look like this. Now from here, actual process of making our homemade clay or paper mache starts. All we need to do is add some good quality glue, which will make our clay more flexible and sticky. And we will also add some white flour to absorb remaining water content left in the mixture. And you can even add some salt to make your product long lasting and mold free. Now knead it and make it like a dough. If required, you can continue to add glue and white flour. So this is the final dough. If it's easy to make a ball out of it, that means our paper mache is ready to be crafted. You can keep this dough in any airtight container or ziplock bag and store it in a cool place and will last for around 4 to 5 days. Now let's begin our crafting. Here I am taking a CD and this is the stencil of a Ganesha which I have made by cutting foam sheet but you can even trace the shape directly on the CD. Now roll and stick your paper clay on the stencil. And once you are done, let it dry for around half an hour depending upon the weather. Then detach the stencil from the CD to get this embossed Ganesha. Now take some pieces of tissue paper and start gluing it with this liquid which is glue and water in 2 is to 1 ratio. Make sure to release all the air bubbles trapped inside the tissue paper. Now, when it's partly dry, then make your embossed Ganesha more specific and clear by pressing its edges with any sharp material like pencil or craft knife. Thank you. 
and once you are done then let it dry for around 6 to 8 hours before you start your painting process. Okay friends, so this is our final embossed Ganesha. 
To make it more attractive, I am pasting a stone on its eye. Now, this attractive piece of art is ready to fill your room with auspicious feelings and positive vibes. So, if you want to watch more such videos, then stay connected to us just by subscribing to our channel. And please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video.